you need to beware. Your employer has you filing the wrong W-2 form that allows the IRS to withhold funds because you applied with your job using your social security number. Guys, I'm Emilia with AWARE, or we are really educated.com. In the next few moments, I'm going to share with you why you're filing the wrong form and two, how you're being used as a slave by using your social security number and they're thinking that you're a debtor instead of what you want to be, which is a creditor. Now, many of you watching this video probably already know about the straw man, the all caps name, you being the living man or woman, the agent heir of your estate. Okay, you already are advanced to that level. And if you're not, I would strongly suggest you go into the video archives of Aware's YouTube channel and look up straw man. Okay, and that keyword alone is going to give you the title to the actual video discussing the straw man. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you how for you to not use the W-2, okay, which is actually a tax gift form. <laughs> You're gifting them, your employer, okay, and how to legally file the correct form and make your employer fill out the right form each year. Okay, first of all, you cannot be required to surrender your God given unalienable rights. Okay, many of you, once again, who are watching this video are advanced, most likely are a secure party creditor, a, a secured creditor. You, you operate over your, your, your estate, you know how to go by, go about your everyday public transactions by using certain techniques okay to offset and accept for value any so-called alleged debts okay now you volunteer and you give up your unalienable rights when you do certain things okay now the writers of the US Constitution specifically use the word unalienable to mandate that government not impair or deprive you of your God-given rights. There's an act called the Clayton Act. The parties, read section 17, talks about protects your labor, okay? We are supposed to be in a trade territory, which is also known as a state, as opposed to the several states' territories which are federal zones. ZIP means Zone Improvement Program. Okay, that's right, guys. So they have you in a certain zone, within a certain territory, within a certain program. Read between the lines, guys. Now, does that encompass China, Saudi Arabia, Russia? We are left to imagine what it means, but the law is not about what we imagine. You see... The law is about what the law specifically and clearly spells out. One of the few places where income tax law is specifically and clearly spelled out is Treasury Delegation Order 1150-42, published as 21fed.reg.5852. The commissioner shall, to the extent of authority invested in him, provide for the administration of the United States, all caps, corporation, internal revenue laws in the Panama Canal Zone, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. That is the extent of their internal authority. Even the IRS has their own definition of revenue agents as spelled out by 27 CFR 250.11, as Patrick Devine talked a lot about the IRS and the CID department, Criminal Investigation Division, and all these other um, departments within the these organizations, within these corporations. Agents of the Department of Revenue of Puerto Rico. Now, they are not agents of internal revenue within the 50 states united. 
except when and where they are dealing with alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and such government regulatable activities as that. And also, there's two IRS agencies. You have you have your Internal Revenue Service, which is the JOR, okay? And you have your IRS, which is de facto. The IRS deals in alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and such government regulatable activities as that, okay? The IRS created the income tax liability in the Code of Federal Regulations, C26 CFR 1.1-1. Congress did not enact any liability statutes for income taxes imposed by Subtitle A of the IRC. Our fundamental right to separation of powers means that only Congress can make law. And you, there's a link here where you can read more about that. I'll put it in the description of the video. Check out United States versus Linda Wall. Notice how she has her upper and lower case name. And you will also find that those notices of levy are also legally considered counterfeit securities. The IRS would like you to believe that internal revenue service means internal to these 50 United States of America. Truth, Treasury Delegation Order 150-10, published at 51fed.reg, Dot 9571 specifically states the commissioner shall to the extent of authority invested in him provide for the administration of the United States all caps corporation okay it's not in all caps here but that's how they usually do write it internal revenue laws in the US territories and insular possessions and other authorized areas of the world no mention of authority within these United States of America and no definition of other authorized areas of government it is not partly public or partly private depending upon the governmental pedigree of the type of a particular activity or the manner 332 u.s 380 comma 384 in which the government conducts it the government may carry on its operations through conventional executive agencies or through corporate forms, especially created for defined ends. See Kiefer and Kiefer versus Reconstruction Finance Corporation, 306 US 381, 390, 518. All federal tax forms are only applicable to the following circumstances. Direct financial involvement with the United States government. Payments made, received from certain federally regulated financial markets, foreign business activities in the United States, conducting domestic business in certain federally regulated businesses, subtitle D and E matters. The IRS does not have lawful authority or jurisdiction to enforce the W-4 program, and the employer is not bound by law to submit any W-4s to the IRS. The United States Government Accounting Office report dated 9-15-2003 stated in part, On the current law, the IRS does not have statutory authority to impose a penalty to enforce employer compliance with the reporting requirement. The reporting requirement was promulgated in Treasury regulations. And we all know Treasury regulations are not law. Now, you can challenge the assessment's authenticity and the authenticity of the basis of the assessment. All those 1099, 1040, or W-2 forms by which people fraudulently claimed without signing on the penalty of perjury as 26 U.S.C. 6065 requires, you earn taxable income. Since the employer has not a withholding agent certificate, it's a crime. The IRS literature identifies withholding agents. Private employers are not defined as withholding agents except in connection with foreign activities, etc. The authority of a withholding agent defined in section 7701-A16, comma 26 CFR, section 
1.7701-16 to withhold from one's pay or remuneration IRC subsection 1441,1442,1443 and specifically N26 CFR section 1.1411-7 applies to non-resident aliens it does not apply to you, the sovereign, the agent heir of the estate. Now, a withholding agent is required to have the specific form 2678 on file with the IRS to be legally authorized to withhold from earnings for the IRS. Form 8655 reporting agent authorizing certificate from the Treasury Financial Management Service has executed one of these forms 2678 or 8655 specific to you as this is the only authority to withhold by a withholding agent as found in the law for they these theses for these these theses forms do not apply to you since you are neither a non-resident alien nor a foreign fictitious entity or are you that's the problem a lot of you are living as a piece of paper and not even realizing that you are. A lot of you get supposed bills in the mail from supposed corporations, supposed you, supposedly that you owe money when in actuality you do not. Because if you know how to accept for value and return for value those bills, which are actually presentments, aka checks and then once you do that and you send it to the proper agencies including the one that sent you that supposed bill and know how to properly set it off by a three-step process that is guaranteed to get rid of any bills if you have any continuing on so you're filing the wrong form and just giving money away they're using your exclusion because you're not using it read publication 940 it says you have a three million five hundred thousand exclusion on the estate side as of 2010 it was repealed in 2010 and then they're going to reactivate it in 2011 you have a one million dollar unified tax credit or exclusion now of making of this video and possibly the years that this has passed by when this ex particular exclusion had took place it can be higher okay so you're not claiming the exclusion or unified tax credit so somebody else is using it since you didn't claim it somebody else used it and now you got to reclaim it you can claim it by filing the appropriate form it is a gift form therefore it is a gift tax gene keating talks about the gift tax all the time interestingly when keating asked the caller what's the amount of their tax bill they responded back and said it was over six hundred thousand keating said to the caller to pay it and do a 1040 v read the instructions on the 1040 v it is a payment voucher that's how you pay them pay the tax go to peace with them and remain in honor gene has done that and recommends it when any person having actual constructive possession of a state my property money accounts applications etc and if that person doesn't ha happen here's what to do see under article 1 section 8 clause 1 you can now legally claim exempt on your w-4 exempt from all withholdings okay and you can force your employer if you got the cojones and if you're not afraid and if you know the information that you have learned to be true and accurate and factual you see that's the difference in people's mindsets they are not overstanding that many of these things that people are saying sovereign citizen and sovereign this and come you know they're using all these terminologies to describe an illuminated society 
who knows that they are the agent heir of their all caps name of their estate and know how to act in honor. Be non-combative. Give them what they want. Accept it for value, guys. And this is what Gene Keating talks about all the time. Unless you've harmed, hurt, injured someone, committed fraud on any contracts, you have not committed any crime. Many of you have court cases that got you up at night not being able to sleep for something that is not a crime, but they give you the illusion that it is and that you can go away for a very long time if you do not do what? Comply. Get down on your knees and comply with your slave masters. That's what they are in black robes. Now, there are many government officials who have good hearts, empathetic, sympathetic, compassionate, very good people. I've met them. I've had the opportunity to deal with people in government who weren't actual goonies, but they were real, compassionate, empathetic, sympathetic people that will make you cry in their presence because you felt their love. But they're in a position of authority where they're doing a job, they think they're doing right by their country by providing their service to protect man, woman, and children, and animals, and the environment, and our society, and our world, but in actuality, they're, being, they're the biggest slaves. They're the ones who I pray for because they don't know that they are slaves, working for slave masters who will only release them within a certain mile radius. Now, not to digress, but I will continue on. You must force your employer from all Fed and state deductions. You sign a new W-4 form. So you go to your employer or what I would do if I were you, I'll just download the W-4 form and have it filled out already with your autograph because you never want to sign. It's autograph, okay? Employer is supposed to have you sign a new W-4 each year anyway. The making of this video is actually a 12 month ending of year. Okay? So when it comes time for you to fill out a new W-4 form, you can do it appropriately. Okay? You can sue your employer, keep in mind, if he or she continues to deduct anything from your paycheck. IRS, when any person having actual or constructive possession of estate, property, money, accounts, applications, etc., if that person doesn't provide the W-9 or W-8 or W-7, I do a 3949A and a DA-2823. And that's how you sue your employer. Okay, because once you let them know this is what I need, or you go with your, you know, with your proper forms, letting them know how you're going to be standing from now on and how you're the agent heir of that all caps estate name, okay, and you are now operating on a different status, then they have to comply. Commercial process through the mails of the United States violating 18. 1341 and 1342 and 241, 242, and 004. Executor fiduciary per Title 26 IRS sections 2002, 2203, 2204, 2032, 6324, 1014 has been stripped of all authority to enforce. Submit a W 4 V. Once again, you're going to submit a W 4 V. V, like Victor, re, with box seven checked. Also, W dash eight Ben with the man's ecclesiastical baptismal name or woman's ecclesiastical baptismal name as the Ben, noting the I M Y and a W dash eight 
L M Y. Well, actually, it's a eight. It's actually W dash eight I M Y. For the straw man, pejorative, noting the W Ben, and finally a form fifty six appointing the office of the registrar, issuing the bank note birth certificate, which banks the debtor I M Y. And last but not least, Gene Keating recommends using Form 56 to appoint the IRS as the trustee. Gene did that, and that's how he got the lien because they claimed that he had a payment agreement, which he never did. Now, one thing before I do finish up here, Form 56 is very powerful. I'm going to give you guys a nugget right here on this video. If you have any court case, you have anything going on, if you have, they're trying to come at you with supposed crime, which you already know what is a crime and what is not a crime. You do a form 56, fill out a form 56. You give it to the magistrate posing as a supposed judge, which most of these magistrates are actually lawyers. They're acting as a, a judge when they're actually a magistrate. There's a difference, guys, but we're not going to touch upon that. And make the magistrate slash imposter judge the trustee on that form. And you being the agent heir of that estate, wipe away any charges that are trying to come after your property, okay? And if they don't do that, what happens, you can make this a tax issue because it's always a tax issue and have an audit done and they will get investigated and audited for the last seven years. And they do not want that because they're doing and committing a lot of fraud. To finish up here, tax gift form. You are filing out, you are filling out the wrong tax form. Here's why. You're not claiming your exclusion. Gene Keating recommends filing because you have a 300. So we already discussed that, okay? Um, and, and you already know that you, you, know, you, you, have, you have a 345000 a year tax credit on Form 709. That's your tax gift. It's built into the form. The reporting class 5, gift and estate taxes, which are capital transfer taxes on the 1040 form, which is for income. You only report income on the 1040. So, guys, I hope you really enjoy this because I enjoy making these videos, doing these audios, doing my presentations, um, going out, teaching this knowledge. It's only for a select few people who are not knowledgeable or are not willing to become knowledgeable on what's going on, they're not the ones who are going to get this information and this knowledge. And it's okay. It's fine. If you happen to bump into this video and you're not sure what this is really about, just go and do some research on the straw man, your all caps name. There's a lot of controversy on the internet because there's a lot of propaganda against the truth, against factual. But you see, you cannot hide truth and, 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 and things of factuality because the power of the internet allows you to do your own research and be able to decipher, pinpoint what's true and what's not, and move on with your education and becoming more aware of how the system functions, how it's been set up, how you are filling out the wrong forms, is something that you are now aware of. And if you choose to take this information and not take it seriously, then this information is not for you. Once again, you get a bill in the mail, any charges against you, all you do is keep it simple, guys. Give them what they want. They created the straw man a couple days right after your birth, okay? They created the bond, which is being traded on the stock exchange, okay, depending on what country you're at. We're here in talking about America, then you're being traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Get your bond number on your birth certificate and look it up. Get yourself a broker and have them look it up. Get yourself a QCIT number and look it up. See how much money, what's the value that you have, the power that you do have. You know, there's two money systems in the country of United States of America. So with that being said, now you know that you're filling out and you're filing the wrong W-2, get your forms together, start filling out the right forms, and start having a better life for yourself, and pay it forward, because that's what it's about. It's about being able to get knowledge and pay it forward eventually, and help those 
who also want to reach and get freedom. I'm Emilio with AreWeAllReallyEducated.com. Thank you for watching. Peace.